What's up guys and welcome back to episode 10 of season 2 of Hypixel Skyblog. I know this is like the third th season 2 video I've uploaded in a row, but it's taken me a little bit longer to finish off another Iron Man episode. I know a lot of you enjoy that series as well, but I need a little bit more time because I'm trying to get a rare drop and it's, you know, it's not going well as usual. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys are still enjoying the season 2 series, hit the like button on the video. Let's try to get to maybe 1100 likes on today's episode. You absolutely crushed it with the support yesterday on yesterday's episode 9. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to upload just about every single day. So, uh, if you could hit that subscribe button, that would mean absolute world to me. Also, use my creator code TOAD, that's T-O-A-D, at the Hypixel store checkout if you ever buy ranks, gems, or anything else. You guys have been absolutely killing the support with code TOAD lately, so I could not be more thankful of you. Just remember to use my code, and, uh, I guess today, actually, I just grabbed my Iron Minions that I picked up that we put down last episode, and I unlocked the personal deleter 4000. So, I think I'm gonna go ahead and craft this. We need, what is this, uh, um, about two stacks of enchanted iron, a lava bucket, and redstone. Let's go to the bazaar, and, of course, buy that. So, two stacks of enchanted iron gonna run us about 400,000 coins. The redstone block is going to be a another 42,000, and then all we need is the lava bucket, which, luckily, there's a search feature in the bazaar now, so I can just straight up buy a lava since when are enchanted lava buckets half a million coins what oh is it because that we're almost out of lava buckets and skyblock that's unfortunate well i still need them so at the end of the day i'm gonna buy it but that's kind of annoying but hey maybe there's a potential profit to be made from there uh anyways let's go ahead and finish crafting this i'm pretty sure it's like that there we go personal leader 4000 we can now delete one item of our choice when we pick it up i don't know what that item's gonna be maybe it's gonna be those stupid notes from the uh, dungeons. Maybe I'll do that because those flood my inventory. Actually, do I have one on me? It does not appear I do, so it looks like we're going to be stuck with that until I get another one of those notes. But uh, anyways, my plan for today is to do a couple floor one runs to finish grinding our catacombs level and then take on floor two. I know we're kind of early to be taken on floor two, but I figured, you know what? We have the soup arm and we have the flower truth. We might just stand a chance at taking out floor two today. So hopefully we can get that done and uh, maybe I'll try floor three if we do floor two pretty quick. I don't really know, but I guess without further ado, I'm going to go hop in a party with some people and we're going to absolutely obliterate some floor ones. We soloed it last episode so I can play with whoever I want now on that floor. So I guess I'll get a party together and let's do some runs and see what loot we get. Hey, wait, I actually got staff on the last run. <laughs> No way, it's like a mill profit, man. Yo. Bunzo staff. No way, real. <laughs> All right, well, that was certainly unexpected. This was actually my last run before Catacombs level 10, which we are now. So that's pretty neat. Hey, uh, hopefully that's gonna be up to take on floor two. I guess we'll have to find out, won't we? I very much have my doubts that we're gonna be able to pull this off, but we're gonna try and solo floor two. Um, I don't think this is gonna work. Uh, I started running tank because it seems to be easier than using Berserker for the extra damage because uh, I get knockback immunity and that is super duper important when trying to deal more damage. Uh, we're dealing- <laughs> look at how much damage we're dealing. I got more talismans as well by the way so we should be dealing quite a lot more. Um, but let's see here, I'll show you my talismans because I actually completely forgot to. We have 317 magical power and you can just kind of take a look at what we have now. Pretty solid setup here so hopefully we're going to be actually able to do this floor. I know that the boss of this floor is notorious for being stupidly difficult early game. Uh, even in master mode, floor two for some reason is just brutal for no reason. It's like some of the mobs just one shot you and stuff. And I don't know if I'm ready for this, but we'll certainly give it our best try and see how things go. So I'm going to go ahead and do what I normally do and fully clear this dungeon. Actually, let's check out how a mini boss is going to go. So let's see. I'm going to use the wand to heal myself up here, but it seems like we're not taking too much damage, which is good. So hopefully if I grab all the puzzles and stuff we should be able to do some decent damage in the boss so i'm gonna clear this dungeon out you guys are probably used to seeing dungeon gameplay so uh i guess we'll see you guys in the blood room or if anything else interesting happens here's another yellow room let's see if we can survive this one because yellow rooms are generally much stronger than the other mobs um apparently you can also do blaze puzzle without a bow i didn't know that until today but you can just straight up hit the blazes with your sword and it just kind of works it's a little bit scary though so I definitely should have grabbed like an artisanal short bow before I went into this, but it seems to be fine. So we're getting pretty close to the end of the dungeon here. This is the final room, so we're going to go ahead and clear this whole room out as well. There should be a mini boss somewhere. Let's open up this while we're at it, just because why not? 
and it was the right side. Good, good. Where is this mini boss? I have not seen it yet, which is mildly concerning because it could pop out of nowhere. And if it's like a, I don't know, angry archaeologist or something that's a little bit tougher to take out, uh, we might be in some trouble. But let's see, what's it gonna be? It's right here. It's a lost adventure. All right, shouldn't be an issue at all to take out. I don't know where the bat is, but I don't think we're gonna need the bat. So that should be good. Let's take out this guy. And I'm not gonna open Blood Room yet. I just wanna go grab the secrets first. And we actually have 300 score. So assuming I do this in a reasonable amount of time, we actually might get an S plus on this. I didn't really clear too fast, but that's because my speed is absolute garbage. Anyways, here's the Blood Room. So let's go ahead and see how this is gonna go over. I have pretty much all the blessings. I've missed a few secrets, but it's kind of whatever. So all right, let's see. And is Bonzo gonna invade us right now? Or does that start at floor four? I think it's floor four. But all right, they don't seem to be doing too much damage. It seems that our talisman bag has increased and has helped us out significantly in this. And honestly, if I'm able to beat this, I might just grind this to like Kata 14 or Kata 15 before we take on floor three. Uh, Cause I don't think floor three is gonna be too much harder than this. I think floor two is really gonna be where it's gonna be, you know, more of a challenge, but yeah. These guys are doing pretty much less damage than the floor one guys did, which is nice. Means that our Kata level is definitely on par for this floor. Kata 10 seems to be the sweet spot. It wasn't too many uh, floor one runs either. If I check my Bonzo collection, I only did 22, which is not bad at all. Usually I would do it closer to like 100 or so, maybe even 150, but I figured, hey, if we're able to do floor two, why not just try? So we're going to do this and it looks like I'm not even going to need to use my wand. Of course, if it gets a little bit close, I will end up using the wand because these guys seem to be getting a little bit tougher but it doesn't seem like anything we're not going to be able to handle, which is nice. I think this is the last two enemies right here. There should be two more after this, and we're not really losing health. We're kind of like pretty much even on right now, which is nice. And yeah, looks like we're going to be just fine without even healing. So this is going to be the real test. We're going to go into the floor two boss, and we're going to see if we're able to beat this. Now, of course, I'm going to do the normal strats. Let me make sure my lion pet is on. Indeed it is. And I'm going to go for the priest first, and then the warrior, and then the archer, and then the mage, because that seems to be the easiest way to do it. Let's see if I can remember how to do this correctly. So this is the priest right here. Oh yeah, we also have our tank ultimate. So if we are taking damage, we can just use our tank ultimate, and it should help us live a little bit. All right, let's keep our focus, and we're going to need to get this damage out as fast as possible. I'm going to try to shop the priest in the corner over here. So hopefully that works. Oh, we're getting teleported. That's fine. That's fine. I don't really care too much about that. Got to get the priest down first. Come on. Come on, gotta get the priest down, gotta get him down. Then you can't heal, then you can't heal. Come on, come on, there we go. That's good. And where is the warrior? You're going down next. You have way less health than the priest. And okay, that should be the first phase down pretty easily. Again, it definitely wasn't gonna be. I don't think the first phase was gonna be too much of an issue. Let's save our mana. Let's do the long walk over here, over to the undead mage. There we go. Hello, how are you? And we're going to do that just like this. All right, I think I'm gonna use my tank ultimate over when the warrior attacks us because the priest and the warrior are pretty close together. So I think if I stay kind of right around here, they should line up a little bit and I should be able to hit them both. So let's do that. I used my ultimate. Let's get the priest while we have like 15 seconds of basically invincibility. Come on, get him down, get him down, get him down. Come on, there we go. And we got to get the warrior down before our ultimate ends as well. Come on, get him down, come on, come on. There we go. Boom, there we go. Okay, things are starting to deal damage to us, but it should be okay. We have the two strongest enemies down. The archer teleported away. I thought I got him. There we go. Oh, we teleported again. Man, stop teleporting. What are you doing? And let's get the mage real quick before we deal with Scarf Solo, just so we don't get sniped, because I think this guy can do a decent amount of damage. And all right, it's just me and Scarf now. We have a little over half of our health, which is nice. And I think I can just go ahead and shred him. He doesn't seem to be dealing... I mean, he's dealing damage, but it's about even. Um, I can take him out beforehand. Yeah, that was close. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have tried to fight him during the skull phase, but we just soloed floor two, and we're going to do it in just about 14 minutes. Oh, wow, we lost 15 points on speed. That was kind of slow, but of course, that's on me for not clearing, but of course, it's floor two, so S rank is all we need for the top reward chest. It's going to be nothing, nothing, and nothing, and a grand old nothing from any of these chests. We don't even get profit from this. 22 coins. Let's go. All right, let's go ahead, grab our loot. And I guess we finished off floor two, so now I'm going to do some runs and see if we can get some more Kata XP and maybe get some profit. I forgot to press record, but first run done for the day. I died in the boss because I'm bad. Let's see our loot here. Uh, rejuvenate. This looks like profit. 48k profit. Ooh, 150k profit. Are you serious? There's no way, right? There's no way this guy wants a screeny. All right, you can take your screeny. You can take the screeny. There you go. All right. Uh, I really want to see if I actually just made... So I paid 50k for that chest. Let's see, can I actually just sell this to Bazaar for 200,000 coins? That would be insane. 
What? Look at that! I can sell for 177,000. I'm sure I'd be able to sell it for 200 if I set up a buy order, but I've still never had a buy order fill in this game. I don't know why. But I guess there we go. I'm gonna get a guild party because that was a little bit slow, but you know what? That's probably what's expected from like catatens and stuff, so not bad for a five minute run. Uh, let's keep going. And there we go. There's another run down. Three minutes. That's a lot faster. All right. Gonna hit the room with three party as soon as this ends. I forgot how long this animation is. There we go. Three partying. Let's see our loots. We got a hot potato book. Uh, we got some other books. We've got some bad books and some more bad books. And the free chest is nothing. That's okay. We'll go for another one. See what happens. Do a couple more. Why not? Here we go. Another run down hot potato book. Uh, nothing. Why isn't it showing profit calculations for this? I guess it does on the right, maybe. I'm not sure. So, like, this one is 67 profit, but it's, like, broken. So, I guess I have to use the SBE one to see how much profit I actually get from these chests. So, yeah, according to this one, it's, uh, there we go, yeah. Profit 67k. Okay, that makes sense. Let's grab this. That is another easy money right there, easy essence. Let's do some more runs and hopefully we get something good. I kind of forgot that I have a tank ult I can use in the second part of the boss, so now I'm not even getting close to dying anymore, which is nice. Anyways, another run down. This is our first rare, kind of rare drop, I guess. Not really. Uh, oh well. Let's see if there's anything in here. Looks like we're not getting any profit. I mean, this is 2k profit, but I don't really care about that. I mean, I guess we'll take it. It's better than not. Or would I lose money because of Bizarre Tax? You know, let's find out. I'm gonna buy this for 50k, and we're gonna see... Oh, wow, looks like a lot of people got Scar Studies that run. That's pretty funny. Unfortunately, I didn't, but hey, that's just how it works sometimes, right? Well, let's go here, and let's see if we actually do make profit from this. We're looking for more than 50k from the Hot Potato Book, so let's see. That was way over four seconds, and we're going to make 48k from the Hot Potato Book, so, uh, yeah. Seems like we'd have to put up a sell offer for that, and I'm not gonna bother doing that, but we still made profit because of the dragon fragments there. Uh, let's do, let's do one more run, all right? Just one more run for good luck. Well, last run, but we're learning some speed strats. We shove him in the portal, and then he takes damage quicker, so there we go. Let's see here what our loot's gonna be. Ooh, a thesis. That's what I'm talking about. Or is that a thesis? Or no, that's a studies, right? That's 23k profit. That's nothing really, nothing really. Let's take it. The Scarf studies for 124, almost 300k profit. You know what? Absolutely, let's go. Hey, last run luck. You can't get any better than that. Sweet. Oh, I didn't even say I got a studies, bruh. <laughs> well, we got one, so that's pretty neat. All right, that was the last run that we're going to be doing. Let's see. Let's go ahead and so I have to actually I have to auction this, don't I? That's fine. We'll sell this. Makes 43k on that run. Dungeons make so much money. This is ridiculous. And studies is for, wow. 700,000 coins on the auction now, so we'll do it. 700k. Uh, we'll actually do 699.993. I think that'll be a good price for that. Go for a day, let that sit, and there we go. So, all right. That was the last floor two. Um, I think we have time in this episode. I can try and take on a floor three myself. Why not? Now, I am quite certain that we are going to fail this, but I'm gonna at least give it a try. Disband the party just in time. We are perfectly the only ones in here. There we go. He's out. It is now just us in the dungeon. Floor 3 solo, I'm 99% sure we are going to get absolutely demolished. Oh, that's kind of weird. That's a visual glitch. He's not actually here. <laughs> there we go. We are now soloing floor 3. Hello, Lost Adventurer. Please don't absolutely annihilate me in two seconds. All right. So as long as we can get through this and through the first phase of the boss, I actually feel pretty confident on this floor. The biggest thing is going to be getting through the first phase and not dying in the final phase. These guys are dealing a lot of damage. Wow, I need to be a little bit more careful about my health. This may be a little bit of a long run here. So I'm going to be kind of careful and try and grab all of the secrets as I'm doing the dungeon and then we'll do blood room at the end. Uh, it's, you know, the normal clearing blood rooms or clearing dungeons. So I'm just going to cut all of this out for you guys and I'll see you guys for the blood room. Well, we've got ourselves another yellow room, so let's take a look here. I may have to use my ultimate on this. We'll see. If I go, like, to half health, then I'll use my ultimate. But I'm gonna try my absolute best to not have to use it. We're gonna use it. All right. And we're still kind of taking damage. That's mildly concerning, but as long as we can take it out before, uh, you know, our ultimate runs out here, we should be just about fine. Any second now, my ult's gonna run out. Okay. So that was really close, and that's kind of terrifying. Um, how is mine's not cleared yet? What? I cleared this whole room. Come on, game. All right, well, I gotta be a little bit more careful, and hopefully we can finish this clear. 
Well, pretty much all of the other secrets are guaranteed items, so I guess we're gonna go in. I have very, very, very bad feeling about this. I don't think we're gonna be able to do it, but we'll try. Gonna open this up here, and I guess we'll see. I have my tank ult if I need it. Uh, the ability should be ready to go now, but I don't know, man. This is gonna be really rough. Um, do we take damage in this one? I don't even want to try. I forgot what floor you start taking damage if you go up to the top on. Oh, this is where Bonzo comes in. Oh, great. He has a million health. Okay, he's actually not that big of a deal. There we go. That's not bad, but hopefully we really don't have good blessings. Like, we have some, but we don't have very good blessings, as you can see. I mean, life 13 is not ideal. Neither is power 11, but I guess it's okay. We're gonna have to keep using our healing and basically not right-click at all, unless there's more than three enemies on the on the field at once here, like now. I guess we can right-click once or twice, but seems like we're holding up okay. I'm still kind of terrified of this. We need to really keep the swarms down to a minimum here. And we're actually taking a lot of damage. I need to make sure to not let them range damage me. Because I think their range damage deals a lot more than their non-range damage. So we gotta really try and damage people here and get these guys to not stack up on us. So we seem to be doing okay. I will use my tank gold if I get over or get under 25% health. Ah, oh, my speech is dying because I'm trying to focus so hard right now. But we seem to be doing okay. Let's try and get this one down. There we go. Let's use this. Let's try and go over to this guy so he can't bow us down. We're almost under half health now, but we seem to be holding on just barely. There we go. Only one or two enemies left. I think we'll have this in the bag. I don't think they'll be able to take us out in time, which is good. There we go. Only one enemy left. Not going to be a blood room fail on this attempt. So there we go. Now there's just the boss, and I don't really have a way to deal with the Chaos Guardian. That's my big concern right now, is that Chaos Guardian, because he one-shots you with his laser. So, we're gonna try and lower all four of the Guardians really low, and then just take them out really quick. I'm most concerned about that Chaos Guardian, but I guess we'll see what happens. Here we go. Floor 3 boss, can we somehow take out two floors in one episode? I have no idea. So we'll have like two or three seconds to attack this Chaos Guardian real quick. It has a million health. Oh my gosh, it has so much health. But all right, let's see. Come on. All right, so I don't know when he uses his laser beam. So we kind of just want to attack. So anger level is four. I don't know how it works. <laughs> I saw that it had an anger level, and that's all I really saw. So we'll keep doing this. We'll get this guy down to like, I don't know, 200k or so. Like maybe that. Ow, that dealt some damage. Uh, he's, is he gonna die? Wait, is this one gonna die? Oh shoot, I forgot this one has the stupid laser of death. We gotta actually start life stealing off this guy. Uh, let's use our ult! Please don't die! And we're dead. Okay, so the laser guardian deals a stupid amount of damage. That's not great. Keep in mind, we are tank class, so we're not gonna really get any tankier than we are right now without more catacombs levels. Well, we did put a valiant effort into this, but of course the boss seemed to take us out. We can get the reinforced guardian and the, I think, a defender or the healer guardian down really easily. The chaos one, I don't think is going to be an issue. But that laser one, it does so much damage. Maybe let me know some ideas in the comments of what I can do to take out that laser guardian a little bit faster. I did get more talismans, so I'm at like, you know, 330 magical power. Can't really get more than this at the moment. The other ones are just very expensive that I don't really have the money for right now because I lost so much money on Luxurious Spools last episode. So I guess if you have any other ideas, uh, let me know in the comments. But that's going to do it for this episode. Yeah, let me try that outro again. That's going to do it for this episode of Hypixel Skyblock Iron. That's going to do it for this episode of Hypixel Skyblock. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like down below, subscribe if you're new to the channel or just want to see more of my content. I'm going to try to be uploading almost every day. So that'll be good. Uh, use code TOAD at Hypixel checkout. That is T-O-A-D, just like in my username. You guys have been killing it with the code TOAD support lately, and that's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care.